family it's the mobile home diva and in today's video i'm going to be touring this wonderful wonderful mobile home this is model number six out here at home x home center in lexington south carolina let's go around and see the exterior of the home this is model number six if you're interested you will call them and ask about model number six if you're interested in this home okay so this home has a back door and it has sliding glass doors lots of regular windows and transom windows okay this is the exterior of your home if you like this home so let's go on in and take a look again this is model number six and i am at home max manufacture home center in Lexington, South Carolina. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about uh, specifications, uh, finding this home, or even pricing, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, if you recognize this home, go ahead and put the name of it down in the description box. I have toured this home, but this one is a little different. So I'm gonna tour it again. This is the front door, you guys. You have all of this space as your entry, all right? This is your front door. I like it because you can do a lot with this entry and that's important to me. What somebody sees when they come into my house is important. I like an entry table, a bench maybe. I like a nice portrait on the wall. This is really my style right here. You can actually access the kitchen or, and I love, love, love this door. Let's see, love the door, all right? You can access the kitchen to the right, or you can come on around into the living room. Lots of natural light in here. Look at the three big windows with transom windows on the top. You've got a sliding glass uh, door that also has a transom window. You have the recessed ceiling. Um, vents in the ceiling. You got a ceiling fan. It's mighty cool in here from the fan. I absolutely, absolutely love it. All of this wonderful space. You've got this beautiful hardwood, the wide planks in the floor. Love it. I love the two-tone colors in here. Love it, love it, love it. It's finished drywall like you can't beat it. This is a lot of space, you guys. If you got big furniture, you can absolutely put your furniture in this space. You've had a large dining room table here, so it gives you an idea of what you can do in your dining room. Maybe you wanna be a little more formal and have, um, and have a buffet in here as well. You absolutely can do it. You can put a bench in here behind the table. You can turn the table the opposite way. You can just basically do whatever you like in this space because you have enough space to do it in. So take it all in, you guys. This area is absolutely beautiful. But if you think that's beautiful, let's turn around and look at the kitchen. Now the kitchen is absolutely open to the dining room and living room. You have all of this space in the kitchen. Now I know you guys know this house because I have toured this house at another location. It was a Clayton Homes. This is a champion, but it's the same home. So you've also got the recessed ceilings in here. I love the, the industrial pendant lighting. I think it goes well with that industrial sink. You've got this large, 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 large island. They have um, four bar stools here. So look how much space you have. There's no sink in this one. The other home I toured had a sink over there and a sink over here. This one doesn't have a sink. So look at all of the counter space that you have in this home. 
really nice. You've got the antique white uh, cabinets. You've got your built-in microwave. Look how tall these cabinets are on the bottom. So you've got lots of space, lots and lots of space. I would probably upgrade and put some shelving or either do it myself. You have this nice big refrigerator in here. Stainless steel package in this one, you guys. All of this counter space. Love how they extend the backsplash up the wall. And that is real glass backsplash. Splash. That's the real glass black splash. Black back splash. All right. Love the glass. This is a glass hutch. Can you see it? This is a glass hutch. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Really nice. Love the big window. Those two sides open. Really nice. The other home that I toured had all of this stuff like slid and open and you had different levels to it. And it was just really a lot to it. I had never seen it before. This one is just as nice, but you don't have all of that extra stuff. Love the cabinets. The fact that it has cabinets and shelves, uh, a shelf, a drawer for every cabinet. Love the pot shelves on either side of the refrigerator. Super, super nice. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna give one spin around and then we are going to go and check out some more house. To the left of the kitchen are the additional bedrooms. So as we come down this hallway to the right, you have a guest bath. It's two doors in the in two rooms. You have a sink with all the space. You have four cabinets here. This huge mirror behind the door. You have a linen closet with lots of room in it. Really nice. And then in this additional room, you have more uh, shelving, more storage space. Your toilet is on one wall. You've got a window that opens and behind the door, you've got your tub and sink combination. Really nice. Really nice. So that's your guest bathroom. And then next to your guest bathroom is guest bedroom number one. Love it. Lots of space in this guest bathroom. Bedroom, sorry. Y'all, I know I be getting mixed up, but it's okay. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Most of you can speak Christy anyway. So you know what I'm trying to say. Got this large window. You actually have two windows in here and you have a standard closet, okay? So I'll go back to the door and then spin around for you to see. Super nice, really nice. And then instead of going back toward the living room, if we go to the right, we have your second guest bedroom, same size bedroom, really nice. You have two windows in here too, but they're together. And then there's your standard closet over there. Really nice. So I'll go back to the door and do one more spin around. I'm really enjoying using this gimbal. I just don't like using my phone because I feel like the quality of my camera is better. But you guys tell me how these videos have been in this series because I think they're coming out a lot better. Now this is your back door, you guys. Love that it has the mudroom area here. I would absolutely put cushions there. Not those kind, but more of the flat kind like on your patio chairs. So probably size them so they'd be the same size as that seating area. So people can sit, take off their shoes. You got space under there. You got hooks for your coats and additional storage. Having a sink in the laundry room is always a nice touch. But even more so, you've got cabinet space under the bottom. And then your washer and dryer will go over here. Okay? 
Really nice. Nice laundry room. Love, love, love this laundry room. Next to the laundry room is this door. And even though you have a linen closet in that guest bath, you also have one out here. So you really have um, a lot of space for storage. All right, super nice. So guest bath to the right. You got two bedrooms and a laundry room over here. Really nice. So we'll walk back through. And on this side of the house is the master. Love this little cubby way. It's, it, it's so that you're, it makes it where your master is not just opening out into the house. So if you have to sneak off to the bedroom, when you open the door, it's not looking at all your guests. Okay. All right. This is the master bedroom. Love, love, love the space in here and the two-tone colors have extended into this room. I'm going to walk over here. You've got two windows. You can either put your headboard there or put it on another wall. It's up to you. I think with all the space, you could probably put a king size bed between those two windows and be okay. That's probably what I would do. Your master bath is over here. You've got, when you walk in, you've got a transom window over your double sinks, three large uh, mirrors. Love it, love it, love it. And you've got pendant light in the ceiling. So if you're looking for the light fixtures, there's pendant lighting in the ceiling. Okay. There you go. Okay. Really nice. So next to the double sinks, you have a large tub. So you've got a large garden tub right there. And then behind the tub is your shower. See that? So you've got this large shower that sits right behind the tub. And that's why that window is there because you can see out into the rest of the bathroom or the bedroom. You got your rain shower, shower head, and an additional shower head over there that comes off of its, that comes down, and then you have the bench right there. So very nice. You've got additional storage over here, and I love the fact that you've got the towel racks in here. But look at all of this storage um, in here. You've got storage space here, and you've also got storage space here in addition to your toilet room being here. Very nice. So your toilet room is here. It's got its own door and you've got all of this storage space. Now through here is your master closet. Let's see if we got a light in here. Oh, it's not connected. So all of this is master closet. Nice use of space. You've got place to hang your clothes there and there, and you've got cubby holes all around the top. Really nice. Drawers here, and then more space over here. Really nice. And if you wanted to, you can extend those shelving, the shelving on this wall. So really lovely. I love this closet. I love this bathroom too. Really nice. All right, this is model number six out here at Home Max Home Center in Lexington, South Carolina. If you're interested in this home, even if this isn't your area and you're interested in this home, give them a call. Their address and contact information is in the description box. You can call them for pricing as well, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed this mobile home tour. Thanks so much for rolling with me, the mobile home dealer, Diva. Have a great day. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. 
Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? 